So what we're looking for is, again, how long it'll take Daniel to earn the $441. So the how long, everybody, can you agree that the how long is hours? Because if you look at the choices, all of the choices say hours. Is that fair to say? We're looking for the number of hours? Right, I think we can start there nice and smooth. We're looking for blank hours. And again, I'm using my finger here, so excuse the kindergarten handwriting. And so we're looking for blank hours. Did they give you any information to associate directly with those numbers of hours? Were you given anything to associate directly? In the same sentence, potentially. Right, the $441 is what we want to look at because they tell you right over here. They give you, again, at this rate, how long will it take to earn $441? Those two pieces of information are connected, connected, connected. And so blank hours for $441. Everybody, is that correct? The number of hours that we're looking for is connected to $441. Making sure that we're good there. Perfect. Sounds good. So here's what we're going to look at next. What we're going to look at next is we're going to take a look at this information here where it says, hey, look, Daniel's paid this much money, $183.75, for five hours of work. So I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write that down right over here. I'm going to say, you know, 183 75 for five hours. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly in our course, you're gonna get access to recorded lessons. You're gonna get access to guided practice just like this. Worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. But everybody, is that a proper setup? If I just write it the way that I see it, is it always gonna be correct? Now, not always going to be correct. We have to really pay attention, guys. We really do need to pay attention because the way that we set it up really matters. Notice how it goes hours, then pay. But here we go pay, then hours. So that is definitely going to be a little tough. So what I'm going to end up doing is swapping them out. Hours first on both. Hours, hours, money, money. Is this a little better, everybody? Does this help us understand the right way to do it? Excellent. So with that said, the next step that we'll take is we're simply going to go ahead now and set up a proportion, solve it, and be done. So here we go. We'll set this up. We'll say H for hours right over here. So we'll have H over 441 equals 5 hours over 183.75 okay so with that what we can do from here is we can do a couple of different things we could just try to cross multiply and divide but everybody do you really want to end up cross multiplying 441 times 5 and then dividing by 180 a decimal do you really want to put yourself in a position to do that? Not quite, right? That's not quite going to be what we're trying to achieve here, try to go for. So instead of doing that, we could try to give ourselves a slightly better position here. And what I mean by that is, what if we could simplify? And the answer is yes. Everyone, right over here, we have the number five. Let me just take care of this. We have the number five right here. And here we have another number that ends in five. Um, everyone, what do we know about numbers that end in five? They are all divisible by what?
They're all divisible by five. Yeah, they're all divisible by five. I can simplify this. I can do some savvy stuff here. And what I'm gonna do in terms of that savvy stuff is I'm gonna divide five into 183.75. I'm gonna divide it in there and see what I can do. So here we go. Five goes into 18 three times, so that'll be minus 15. That's three. Bring that three down. Five goes into 33, that'll be six times. Subtract 30, that's a three. Bring that seven. Five goes into 37 seven times. Put that decimal place right where it belongs. So that'll end up being minus 35. Then we have ourselves a two and a five. That's so much math that y'all can't even see, right? I'm going into the next problem. And so that'll end up being a five right there. But nonetheless, we simplify this right here. We have H over 441 equals one over 36.75, $36.75. So is that enough to get the problem done? Well, what you're gonna have to understand is you're gonna be cross multiplying here and then you can divide or you can notice that to go from 441 to the answer, you could divide by 36.75, but still you're doing the same math. If you wanted to look at it another way, potentially you could do it mentally. And what I mean by mentally is saying, hey, if I'm going from 36.75 to 441, let's take a look at which one of these answers would be the most reasonable. Think about it like this here, everybody. I have these numbers here and I can tell you right now that if I wanted to go from, let's say, 441 to H, it would need to be from 36 to there. So it would need to be sort of like the same in comparison, or you can think of it like this as well. You can think of it as 36.75 to 441 is the same as one to H. Everyone, quick question. If I multiply 36.75, if I multiply that by 10, am I gonna be below or over 441? If I do 36 and some change, 36.75, if I do that times 10, am I going to be below or above? I'm going to be below, right? So if I multiply by seven hours, is that going to be at 441? If I multiply by something even smaller than 10, am I going to get there? No, I'm not going to get there. No. If I, if, I, if I know that multiplying by 10 is still not there, then what does that tell me about multiplying by seven? Not going to be there. I can use some mental math wherewithal and say, that's not going to be the answer. I don't want to divide by 36.75. I'm going to use my mental math here. Let's take a look at 21, 19, and 12. Everyone, 36 times, let's say 10, that's 360. 36 times 20, wouldn't that be 720, somewhere around there? That'd be somewhere really, really up there, right? So is it possible that it's 19 or 21? Some of those are huge numbers over there. Is it possible that it's one of those? No, no to those either. The one that looks like it can possibly be the closest to me right here would be C. The one that looks like it could be the closest would be C. And so with that, boom, you can use some mental math guesswork to get that as the answer, or you can also guess and check by applying the 12. You could do 3675, times 12, and you could try it out that way if you got desperate, but with some mental math, you could definitely say, yeah, the seven's too low, the 19 and 21 are way too high, the answer would be 12. Yes or no, is that something that you would try out in your practice? Right, it's something that could happen in your practice, absolutely. We wanna make sure that we try it out when we can, that way we're not stuck in the whole, this has to get done only one way. We don't want that. Not that often. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.